Hey guys, Goksum for the win here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, I'll be going through Route 11 and challenging all the trainers. Now, once you beat the Vermilion City Gym Leader, go ahead and go to Route 11 over here. Now, you don't exactly need to uh, battle the Gym Leader before you do this. I just like doing it before this route. Now, if you go right of Vermilion City, you'll find Route 11 right here. And actually, before we fight that trainer, I'd actually like to get this item over here. You'll be able to find an Awakening. Now, also another thing I'd actually like to do before we fight the trainers, I actually want to look through the grass here for a bit. Let's see if we can find the Pokemon I want to catch. And we did just that. We're going to find a Sand Shoe. I'm pretty sure you're also able to find Sand Slashes. Uh, I think I found one earlier, but this is going to be the next Pokemon that I catch. And again, I don't have a name for this thing right off the bat. I should probably get a little more prepared before I actually do stuff like this, but... Hey, I like, I like catching my Pokemon right away. It's fun getting new Pokemon on your team. So I'm going to throw a Pokeball here. Hopefully we catch it. Nah, okay. So it looks like we'll have to damage it. And maybe even... Um, I don't even know if I'll be able to catch it. Because we only have one Pokeball. And we've got to hope for the best here that... We somehow don't kill it. Actually, guys, I'll see you guys in a bit after I whittle down its health. Okay, guys, I am back. And I finally brought him down to yellow health. He will die in a few turns, though, because he's leech seated. And he's also asleep, so hopefully, hopefully, this raises our chance to like, I don't know, 85% and we catch him, perfect. So if you guys didn't know, point a Pokemon to sleep and also, uh, willing down's health to like reddish, yellow, almost like deadish health, um, it'll raise your chances of getting the Pokemon. Now, I actually have to think of a name here. Uh, I kind of had an idea for one, I'm gonna name him Chaotic. Now, the reason for this is because number one, one of my friend's name is Chaotic. And also, I don't know, Sandslash seems like a chaotic Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and name this guy Chaotic, and we'll be good from there. Now, I'm not exactly going to train him this episode, just because... Actually, we could start training him, but really, I want to train up my, my Yoshi, or not Yoshi, my Roshi, before we actually do anything. So, we're going to fight the first trainer over here, and I don't even know if I have... Roshi in front. Yes, I do. I need to get him up to a Gyarados because level grinding is just impossible for this Pokemon. And it's just going to take forever. So the first trainer you will encounter on this route is going to be a youngster and he's going to be carrying a level 21 Ekans. So Ekans, pretty strong Pokemon. Going to be running Intimidate, of course. Uh, watch out for Poison Sting and your Poison uh, or Pokemon getting Poison on your team. So that's the only thing you really have to watch out for for an Echo. And so I'm just going to bring out my Robin right here. Take it out in one shot or two shots or so. Glare, it's not going to hit. That's fine. And Peck should take out this thing in two shots. Maybe even one. Nah, it's going to gonna take two shots. He's going to go for a Leer. I still don't understand why Pokemon does this. Like, at this part of the game, just take Leer off every, com or every AI or every computer that you fight. Because it's not really going to be that useful. It's kind of a freebie when they use it. So we're going to take down that youngster right there. Roshi isn't exactly going to go up a level just yet. Um, it probably will take him around 3-ish three three so battles, so you do have to wait for that. Now, there's a few youngsters on this route. I'm going to guess that this is the one with the Nidoran males. Um, he has a Nidoran male and a Nido... Okay, no, he's going to be the one with a Sandshrew and... What is his other Pokemon? I think it's a Rattata. So... We're gonna go ahead and switch out again just because Roshi can't really do anything to these guys. I'm actually gonna switch to my light bulb. Light bulb is actually pretty, pretty close to leveling up soon, so I am very happy about that. We're gonna get a Venusaur, and we're only on the fourth gym, which is, I guess it makes sense, but I think we might be a little bit over level with our starter here. And that's only because we didn't get any Pokemon raid at the start of the game. We only had two, so we didn't have to worry about, I don't know. Um, train up like five-ish so Pokemon at once, so all the EXP went up to two of my Pokemon instead of, yeah, splitting up between five. So he's gonna bring out a Zubat, and I was wrong, he doesn't have a Rattata, that's fine. Um, I think I wanna switch back into my Light Bulb. The two Pokemon I'm really mainly focusing on, I'm still focusing on getting my Spearow or my Fear up to level 30, but I do wanna evolve my Pokemon to their final evolutions, just because once they're there, uh, the game's just gonna go easy for you, and you're just gonna breeze through it, because Final Evolution Pokemon are super nice to have on your team, of course. They're, they're the strongest form of that specific Pokemon. Okay, it looks like we're not gonna be doing that much 
damage with Line Whip right here, so I'm gonna have to switch out into my um, Robin right here and take it out with a Peck, just because. Now this route isn't too hard. Most of the trainers have decently high level Pokemon. If you reverse the gym, then you should have no tr troubles with this, because um, it's pretty much a. Most of these trainers are just weaker forms of the trainers you first in the gym. They all have like level 18 ish, so Pokemon, some level 21, but um, really, they're not really that strong because they're only first evolution. So we're gonna take down Dylan right there. Robin's almost up to level 30, which is quite nice. And uh, we're gonna fight this youngster right here if he wants to walk in front of us. Nope, he's just gonna, he's just gonna run away from us. Come on. Okay, guys, I am back, and I actually had to make a cut there because it took a few turns to take out those two. Nidorans and Nidorino, so anyways, we're gonna continue down the road now and fight this gamer Now I do not know why this guy is called a gamer. He doesn't even look like do, do you really think that's what gamers look like Nintendo? Uh, that's a little bit insulting <laughs> Like come on. But anyways, he's gonna send out a level 18 Bellsprout and he also has a level 18 Oddish So you shouldn't have too much trouble with this uh, whole battle here. I did heal up my Pokemon during that cut uh, just because a lot of my Pokemon got damaged from Poison, uh, Sting, well, Robin mostly, and then they were almost dead because Nidorino is a pretty strong Pokemon, so I wanted to not lose to a Bellsprout or something and I need to heal up my Pokemon. Now Robin's almost up to level 30, which is quite nice, uh, not exactly gonna level up just yet, and I pressed B on accident, no, I need to get this EXP to Robin, uh, I don't even know if it's worth it switching back out, we're not even gonna bother, we're just gonna give the EXP to uh, my Robin right here, and hopefully maybe level up from this, then we don't really need to trade Ro train up Robin for a little while after this, or probably, probably uh, maybe the next part I'll start training him up again. But we're gonna take down Gamer Jasper. Pretty easy battle, uh, not too hard. And I'm gonna heal on my, or not heal on my Pokemon. I'm actually gonna switch out uh, my Robin to here, just so I know that I shouldn't be switching into him anymore for a while, just because he's he's a good enough level. And then Light Bulb will also be down there later on once we actually evolve him. So if you come over here, you'll be able to get an X Defend. And an X Defend can be pretty useful in gyms. I said this a couple episodes ago. If you want to have a pretty decent amount of of an advantage over the gym leaders, just go ahead and pick up some um, X Defends, X Speeds, etc. Raise your stats up. You know, it's a very good strategy to use. So we're gonna fight this engineer right here, and he's gonna send out a level 21 Magnemite now. I almost switched into my Robin right there. I don't know why. Robin's always my go-to Pokemon for some reason over Light Bulb. There's just something in my brain that says you want to use Robin because he's a super strong Pokemon, but he won't be able to do anything against this Magnemite. Um, neither will Ivysaur, but we'll be doing a little more damage than Peck, I'm pretty sure. Because I think it's like times for uh, resistant to uh, Magnemite, so that's not very good. So he's gonna go for a supersonic right here. We are gonna get confused. Luckily we're not paralyzed, so we won't have like super bad RNG, but hopefully, hopefully. I'm sure it doesn't hit himself. He does though, cause my Pokemon don't understand what's reality and what's not. <laughs> They're like, oh no, I'm the enemy, I better hit myself. So he's gonna go for a sonic boom. We're gonna miss it. Hey, that's what you get for paralyzing and confusing me. Now we're gonna hit ourselves once again. Magnemite, Magnemite, Magnemite. One of the most annoying Pokemon to verse. Mostly if you don't have anything super effective against it. I do have my Sandshrew, that's for sure, but uh, we're not going to be able to do that much to it. Now, Roshi's going to go up to level 18. Nice. And Light Bulb's going to almost be up to level 32. I think I might actually heal up my Pokemon one more time, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I am back, and I want to make sure there's nothing up there that I missed. Uh, we fought that trainer. That was kind of embarrassing that we had to heal up after that Magnemite though, that's for sure. But we're gonna fight this Gamer, another one once again. This isn't what gamers look like, I don't even know why it's named a Gamer. Maybe, it, I don't know. <laughs> Usually when I think of Gamer, I think of people who uh, play on the computer, play on consoles, stuff like that. I love playing video games, but apparently Nintendo thinks we're old, we have beards, and we're bald. Makes, makes total sense. But I'm gonna send a Roshi here and switch into my light bulb now, and light bulb? I don't know if I'll really do the Roshi thing. I do want to get Roshi up to uh, Gyarados, that's for sure, but I also want my light bulb to evolve into Venusaur. I'm probably totally wrong on the level it actually evolves. It probably evolves at level 
uh, 36 or so. And I might be thinking of a different Pokemon that evolves at level 32, but maybe, maybe I'm right. I'm hoping I'm right, for sure, at least. Um, because, again, Venusaur, super strong Pokemon. It's a cool one to have at the start of the, like, I'm pretty much at the start of the game. Uh, maybe somewhere in the middle, but still, having a Venusaur in general is just cool. So, that Growlithe is going to go down from our Grass type right here, and he's going to send out a Vulpix. Now, I'm just going to stay in with my Ivysaur right here. I want to get some more EXP, and I feel like I've been in this situation before. I don't know why. It kind of is like the same situation I was in on the SSN when I was training up Roshi. It's kind of weird. Deja vu right here. You guys might not know what I'm talking about, but I don't know. Just got to bring it up because it's kind of weird that I'm like in the same situation. But anyways, he's going to go for a quick attack right here. I'm going to go for a Vine Whip and not exactly take him out just yet. I find, or Vulpix is faster than us, right? So he'll get priority. Yeah. He's not going to do that much damage to us. We're going to take out the Vulpix anyways. And hopefully, we'll probably be like a sliver off from EXP to evolve. So that's that sucks. And I'm not going to actually heal up my Pokemon, like go back all the way to the Pokemon Center, because we're not we're not going to do it every time we battle. I'm just going to use my potions up here, because I still have a few potions. I have, actually have seven. Uh, that should be good enough to heal up my Light Bulb. And the burn, yeah, it's going to be a little bit annoying here and there, um, dealing with that chip damage, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Light Bulb can take those burns here and there. It's not like it's going to affect him too much. Now, we're almost pretty much done with this route here. It's not the biggest route in the world. Um, there's nothing really else to do on this route, by the way, you guys. So, it's just more so to battle trainers. I do recommend actually going through it, though, because getting the EXP is nice to have. And then, yeah, it just makes the game easier later on. Because your Pokemon will be leveled up uh, more than normal if you didn't go through this route, of course. So, Roshi, I'm going to switch him out right here, bring out our Light Bulb, and I'm actually going to stay in with Light Bulb. Maybe Light Bulb might... No, I think, again, we'll be a sliver off. So, I'm going to go for a Vine Whip right here. Take out this Rattata in one shot. Nice. Vine Whip, super strong move to have on a Ivysaur, and I'm going to stay in here and just take out this Rattata right here. Now, this trainer right here actually has three Pokemon on his team. He has all level 17s, but... His final Pokemon is going to be Eradicate, and again, watch out for Hyper Fang on that thing, because Hyper Fang is going to be doing a lot of damage if it hits you. And nice, Light Bulb finally went up to level 32. It's kind of sad that Light Bulb will evolve. I'm probably not even right about the evolution level, but it's kind of sad that he might, uh, not saying he is, because I still don't know, evolve before Roshi. And Roshi, I've been trying to evolve for the last like three episodes or so, I think. It's kind of crazy. But Light Bulb. Gonna take a lot of damage from the Hyper Fang. Again, watch out for that. Will Quick Attack actually take us out? Okay, perfect. <laughs> I was like, right when we're about to evolve, you're gonna take me out. I think we still evolve if we're fainted anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but still, that'd be kind of embarrassing. And I'm gonna be quiet here while our Ivysaur evolves. Nice and powerful Venusaur. We finally evolved our Bulbasaur to its final evolution. That's nice. So I'm not going to use our light bulb anymore. Ooh, that looks so clean. I don't know why. It just seems so right. And I'm going to switch out Robin just because uh, I said I wasn't going to train him anymore. But my Ivysaur is almost dead. Or my Venusaur. I got to use saying that now. My Venusaur is almost dead. And uh, he doesn't really need to be leveled up anymore. So I don't really need to use him. Now this is going to be the final trainer on the route. He's going to have a level 18 Voltorb and a level 18 Magnemite, so I think I might actually try to use, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to use our Chaotic right here, just because my Robin won't be able to do anything to these Pokemon. Hopefully we have a ground attack on our Pokemon, and it doesn't look like we do, oh no. <laughs> this battle might be harder than I thought. Okay, Light Bulb, I actually might have to use you then. Hopefully Light Bulb can take these guys out in a few Vine Whips or so. Damn, that tackle did nothing. That's why having a Venusaur on your team is quite nice. So, Vine Whip is going to hit, and it should take him out in one shot, yeah, but we will die from a burn this turn. I more so just wanted to take out one Pokemon at least with Light Bulb, it didn't really matter, and we're actually not going to be affected by a burn just yet. Uh, maybe this turn we will. Yeah, it looks like we will. And... 
our Venusaur is gonna go down for the first time. I think this is actually, the, yeah, the first time in the whole in the whole series that my Pokemon has went down. So, Robin, it's up to you. Maybe you could take this guy out with a few Fury attacks. I don't know if that's for certain though. Ooh, it looks like you're doing a lot of damage. Okay. That's good. I didn't know if it would do this much damage or it would be a pretty weak attack. Did we hit five times? Okay. So we hit four times. Didn't get lucky with the five. Didn't exactly kill. Magnemite. Yeah, of course you're going to confuse us. That's all you like to do, Magnemite. That's all you like to do. Hopefully Robin's not stupid. And he's stupid. All my Pokemon are just dumb. They like hitting themselves. They don't understand. And Thundershock's going to do a lot of damage to Robin. Considering this Pokemon is level 18 and my Robin's level 30 at least. And uh, Robin's going to actually hit Fury Attack this time and take out this Magnemite. So we took out the last trainer finally. And I actually want to heal up my Pokemon before we actually end off the episode. Just because I don't want to leave off the episode with my Venusaur dead. That's not very nice. So Actually before we actually do that, come over here and you'll actually be able to pick up an item. A Great Ball at that and a pretty useful item. You can catch Pokemon with a higher rate, and I think there might be an item over here. Yes, there is. You'll be able to pick up an escape rope. So if you guys want that, you can definitely uh, pick that up. It's pretty useful if you're stuck in an area and you need to get out right away to the uh, last entrance you went in through. So, Anyways, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to end off the episode right here. If you did enjoy, go ahead and tell me what you liked in the comment section down below. And also, give me some criticism. I'd really appreciate it. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with a comment on me. Uh.